so today we're going to do a mask that I got um, an Ipsy bag, I think. It's the Prolice. Prolice, I think I'm saying it right. Blue Lotus Seed Mud Mask and Exfoliant. So, it's it's got white clay for purifying pores, bamboo gently exfoliates, ginger detoxifies, mushroom brightens skin, white tea soothes skin, rice bran water promotes clarity. And you start with cleanse skin, yeah, that's already been done. Apply a thin layer to the face, blah, blah, and set and dry for 10 to 15. That's one thing I like is it's not like super long, it seems, but we'll see how I feel. Um, I, uh, there we go. So if you've ever, I haven't done a mask Monday in a long time, but pretty much what I do is I put on a mask, sheet mask, mud mask, whatever, and then talk and go rinse it off and go rinse it off and come back and tell you what I think of a, my first impression of the mask. Of course, you know, it's skincare, so I can't really tell as much from the beginning, you know. But I think it's a lot of fun. I used to have a lot of people like these videos. I kind of stopped them because the expense of always getting new masks. But I have some samples. So I figured, you know what? Maybe I'll do a few Mass Mondays, or I might even go back and use some that I haven't used in a long time, stuff like that. We'll see what happens, or maybe I'll even do some homemade masks, which, you know, some people find to be very popular. My history with homemade masks are not all that great. I find a lot of them to be really, really messy and not be that helpful for my skin um but we'll see maybe I'll find a recipe that I like or maybe you just like me to do one and be all super messy so I also like I like to put masks on with a brush my cats are being super crazy tonight which you guys usually enjoy <laughs> and uh I've really been thinking about doing a little bit of rearranging in here, although nothing that you would end up seeing because the rearranging would be in this area where you don't really see anyways. <laughs> so only because I need to move my brushes because where um, my cat Sugar has been hanging out, she's hanging out like right above the brushes so all her fur is like dropping into the brushes. All that noise is some of the other cats. They've all been playing and fighting and being really crazy tonight. And yes, my bra straps keep floating down to this evening. Everything's been fantastic. Now, if you're new to this channel by any chance, because I have a lot of new people, um, you might not know about my psoriatic arthritis. Um, as you can see, this is the psoriasis part of it. So my skin is like this. And that's why it's like that. Uh, we've been wanting to get me on Humira for a long time, but you can't be on Humira if you have any infection issues. And I actually have some infection situations. I might actually have to have surgery to get an infection out. <laughs> I know this is crazy. I've had the same infection for months and months. It just kept coming back. It's like a skin infection um, that would come back as an abs, would come back and get abscessed. And then we have to go through the whole procedure of getting antibiotics and everything all over again in the same exact spot. Um, and the doctor, uh, my doctor went and got an ultrasound. She said there was like tracking inside the skin and there's like, um, there might be like a hardened infection 
And so now I'm gonna have to see the surgeon who has not called me back at all, which is really, really frustrating. Um, so when he calls me back, he's supposed I'm supposed to have like an appointment to come in and see him and then go from there. But yeah, while this is going on, I can't take the Humira to see if it'll even work. Because it might not even work. It doesn't work for everyone. It does have a pretty good success rate. Um, they did try methotrexate before with me. And that didn't quite work out so great. So um, it just made me seriously, seriously ill. Uh, but did not uh, like really weak and just ill. Like, you know, ill. So, <laughs> um, so you know, she decided decided to take me off of that because she didn't feel that it was working like she didn't see any changes in my skin and definitely not in um, the pain I was having in with the arthritis the arthritis is like in my hands my wrists sometimes um, in my joints of like the joint here even in my shoulder it's gotten into my back it's in my feet and my ankles, my toes, um, cramp up really bad from the arthritis. It's not fun. Um, I can't stand for long periods of time because my knees will literally give out on me and I can only walk for so long as well. And it sucks because I used to do like two mile hikes. I used to have um, I was never like super athletic, but I worked out. I did, you know, and, um, uh, it's, you know, it caused me over the past two or three years, I've gained quite a bit more weight. I've always was on the bigger side, but never was I to this extreme. And not that I think I'm any less for being this big or feel that way about anybody that is this big. It's just a little frustrating for me not to be able to do much and feel so fatigued and uh, yeah. Not to mention the clothes because most plus size clothing companies, not all of them, but many, many of them don't go above a size 3X or 24, 26. And at this point, I, I used to be like a size 22 for most of my life. Well, between 18 and 22, it bounced around between those for most of my life. And now it's like, I'm like a 28 uh, or 4X and many companies don't make them. Like plus size companies. Um, then they start their plus size. When I was young, <laughs> I know. When I was young, I walked to school. No, okay. When I was young, plus sized places started at like size 14. Now they start at like 10 and 12 and I'm like, since when is 10 and 12 plus sized? It's crazy how the industry works and makes women feel, you know, so like less than. Because many women, not myself, but many women, when they hear the word plus size, they feel really bad about themselves when they hear the word fat they feel bad about themselves um it's it's a way to just keep us down in my opinion make us feel bad so we're spending all this time like worrying about that stuff just some of my opinions <laughs> but i myself not too worried about that stuff except when it comes to the clothes because i love clothes so and I'm not in any position to buy any clothes these days. So, ah, here she comes, sugar. She doesn't care. She does not care that the camera is on. She does not care at all. She's, no, you cannot sit there. You cannot, I'm gonna have to do this to you and I feel really bad about it because it's gonna make you upset. There we go. That took care. I just sprayed her with a little bit of water. I have a little spray can here for my hair to wet my hair or to wet, you know, um, a beauty sponge or something like that, you know, but I've been using it lately to keep the cats away from me while I'm trying to do stuff. But yet, for a while she was sleeping over here, which was fine because none of my stuff was over here on this side of the vanity. So it was like, okay. 
but now she's up over here. I have these drawers over here next to the vanity and she wants to be up there. So she knocked over a whole bunch of my lipsticks, which I still have to go behind there and get them. That's why I haven't done the decluttering of my lipsticks because it's really hard for me to get down there to get them. Um, and I'm probably gonna do that in the next couple days so that I can do a declutter this uh, coming, well, this week. Let me talk about. I know it's Sunday night for me, but when this goes up, it's gonna be Monday. So that's why it's called Math Monday. Um, <laughs> anyways, going on. I don't even remember where I was. <laughs> oh yeah, clothes. I love clothes, but I don't mind for clothes right now anyways, or makeup, or really anything. Um, anything I've gotten in recent times has been extremely, extremely cheap, and really nothing. I've bought pretty much nothing, because there's just... For those of you who don't know, once again, who are new to this channel, my boyfriend ended up in the hospital. He had a uh, blood vessel in his throat. Um, not burst. They said it, it just kind of like opened up. Like usually I guess they would just burst and you would be dead. But in his case, it did not do that. It just opened up. It was like leaking. Um, so he was throwing up blood, went to the hospital. And it's like having an aneurysm, though, in your throat. Um, so it does do some, like, damage. Um, not just to that area, but also to the rest of his body. He's been extremely weak from the whole experience. Um, he had to kind of, like, relearn, like, walking. And he can walk with a cane. And he can even drive now, but not for long periods of time because he gets, like, tired. Um... Yeah, oh, I can feel this tightening. Ooh, that dried really fast. That's amazing. A lot of times, like right in this area, it won't dry on me, but this one has dried really fast. That's great. I like it. Um, so far. But, yeah, so he had these things happen, um, and it has, he, he already was in a bad, like, work situation. He, um, there was a new manager that came into the job that he was working at and he'd been working there for years and the new manager came in and just got rid of him. And this is after the old manager had just given him a raise. So, <laughs> it had nothing to do with his work at all. And many people actually, he was like the first one and then many people, like the people, especially the people that worked there the longest were gone. And. I, I get a feeling he was brought in probably to get rid of people that were getting paid too much. Because we can't pay people a living wage. That would be awful. So, uh, yeah. So he, he was in the restaurant business and uh, he was gone from there. And then he worked for a painting, painting company for a few weeks. But it was like, he was not explained to him that it was only for like a couple jobs. And then that was it. And so then he found out, he was like, well, you know, he was like, I wouldn't have probably taken the job then because now I can't even get unemployment. So now we're even more like in trouble. Not that he didn't want to work because he loves working, but he also wants to make sure that we could survive. And then right after that happened, like literally like a week after that happened, he was in the hospital. So... Even if he had been, you know, still working for them, he wouldn't be now because he's incapable of doing anything right now. Um, his mind isn't even the way it was before. Like, it's it's just made some neurological things as well, which they said will heal over time. I've already noticed a little bit of healing in the area, but he does have trouble, like, following, like, I, you have noticed, I talk really fast sometimes, and I can be a very impatient person. It's, I've had to really, really just be like, waiting for him to like, do things, and it's really hard for me, but I'm doing it, you know, because it, it's not his fault. This is just what I have to do now, and I have to just keep telling myself that, but sometimes it's really hard. Um, and some of the medications have him talking asleep. Just, yeah, it's a lot. So, 
and you know that's like half the income is well gone <laughs> um so there's and we went from like him having okay income the painting job for those few weeks that he was working at that painting job it was like like there was a lot more money coming in and we were making decisions about you know like making some changes in our lives and stuff and then it's like oh yeah you're not gonna be doing any of that now <laughs> now you're like really bad off um so it's been difficult but we are getting through it i've had to make some budget changes the um subscription boxes that i'll be doing uh for this month it's the last time the subscription boxes are going to be here i uh put pause on some of them some of them you can put pause on which is really awesome and some of them i had to just get rid of some of them i'm keeping but um one because i'm grandfathered into an old price and so if i leave it i won't when i i won't ever be able to get it again because the new prices are just like crazy um so i don't really want to leave that if i don't have to so we're trying i'm trying to hold on to that one and um an ipsy because it's not very much at all and really i mean the other boxes I mean, it really doesn't really add up to as much as you might think. But yeah, it is making a difference right now. So I won't have Julep. This will be my last Julep box for, oh, I don't know what, how long. Um, I will not have the Glossy box um, next month. Uh, so that's going to be leaving for a while. No Meow box. Sorry. And no Dio and Dia and company, which I was just starting to get that. That was one that I could put on pause though. Julep you can put on pause. Glossy box. Um, I had to just like stop for the time being. But hey, you know, um, I gotta do what I gotta do, right? We all gotta do what we gotta do. And it meant like not buying like extra stuff. Um, the last Ulta. Uh, thing I made was made with a gift card so I can't do any giveaways this coming like in March unless something changes between now and whenever so there probably won't be a giveaway in March um, I'm hoping before April we're going to be more normal um, but yeah it's it's really difficult because there's no, like, he didn't get hurt on a job, so he can't get, like, a disability income like that or anything. This was just something that happened. And there's no, you know, there doesn't seem to be anything for that. So, uh, he's going to be going to, there's a place here uh, that helps people who have, like, disability situations get work and he is going to be going there um, to see what they say because sometimes they help you get work sometimes they help you find other routes to get like temporary money um, you know until you're back on your feet that sort of thing we're waiting to see what happens and by the way if you have an issue with any of this if you have an issue with people who are in a bad way needing help and getting you know money from funding of some sort you have an issue with any of that just go i don't care that i won't have 500 followers anymore whatever i don't need you or want you in my community if you take so much of an issue with that um and to, or just keep your opinion to yourself <laughs> because i am <laughs> not a person like that uh we are people that don't have a lot of money as most people don't these days and when something like this happens it happens and you have to find other avenues and if you can't understand that i hope it never happens to you because if it did you would be in for quite a shock that you wouldn't have you know any help so and I've heard all the stuff before. Oh, well, you can do this and you can do that. Yeah, no. <laughs> uh, especially people who, like, you know, are talking about what happened, like, 20 years ago when they had, like, a lot of family to help them and stuff. 
I don't really have, I have friends, but there's no like extra family support, especially he has no family at all. None. I mean, I'm quite serious. Like his parents, grandparents, every, he, nothing. <laughs> um, and I don't want to discuss the rest of his private life anyways. Um, but yeah, he has no living relatives that, that he can turn to for help at all. So there's none of that either. So things are not the way that they were a long time ago. My daughter's still in high school. Um, she does have a job, but it's through a thing in high school, like through a program. So it's almost like having an internship, except you get paid slightly, but you do get paid below, way below minimum wage. She literally gets paid $2 an hour because it's during school time. Excuse me. So if she works two hours that day, she only gets four bucks that day and she usually only works an hour a day and since my daughter has an illness she has cystic fibrosis uh sometimes when she gets sick she'll be sick like twice three times as long as another person so when she got the flu she was out for like two and a half weeks so um which the school system here is a horrible time to us about even though she has an iep blah 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 and so on and so on anyways this is kind of an update of my life. So if you're new, this might be a lot for you to handle <laughs> um, because you haven't been here over the past, you know, couple years. So you're probably like, whoa, there's a lot of stuff. Um, there's a lot of stuff. Uh, um, yeah, so things that I was planning on having, like I was putting aside money to get like a very special large guinea pig cage so that I could have guinea pigs again and feel comfortable having them because I feel I've done a lot of research and found that the cages I had were probably not big enough for them um even though that's what you know I was told was fine after doing some more research it's like eh, no not really they could they need a little more space than that plus you know they need to be taken out which we did that we took them out and stuff but they need more living space um to run around in and such and uh yeah, so I'm not going to be doing that anytime soon, like I hoped, which kind of makes me really sad because I really miss having piggies. I grew up with bunny rabbits and piggies and we had so many. There was, there's always animals, gerbils, hamsters, whatnot. It, we had them, um, except a rat. One time I found a domestic rat. It literally was on the side of the street and you could tell it was it was domestic um it was totally like excited to like be held and everything somebody had literally just dumped it and um we had we happened to have like rodent cages in our house and stuff because we have had so many you know different animals and my mom there was just no way my mom was not okay with the rat she was okay with every single other rodent we'd ever had but for some reason she had an issue with the rat so um i had to give the rat to my boyfriend that i had at the time whose name was rat man <laughs> because he had rats so it wasn't went to him he knew he was good with rats so that was okay we had cats our whole lives too there were always several cats um my uh great aunt had chickens like there was always all you know everybody we knew in our family had animals so we have cats if you haven't figured that out yet um and i am concerned with our income being so much smaller i am worried about uh not taking care of their basic needs but if any of them um we have one that is a little bit ill but not it's more like he's just really old and there isn't really anything we can do. Um, yeah. So like I was saying, there isn't anything we can do about his illness. So there's that. Um, the other thing is I have, oh, what are you doing there? Um, so, and the rest of them are pretty healthy, so I don't think we'll have any problems. But if anything was to happen right now, I'm really, really concerned about how we would handle it. We do have, there is a vet that does do payment plans here um and there's also a new vet in town but i would rather go with the one that we already had worked with that does do payment plans um so i would probably go to them 
if anything did happen, but I would really, I really hope they just stay healthy. Um, anyways, I want them to be healthy anyways, um, but even more so right now, I'm like, if anything had happened, it would be really, really difficult. Um, because even the payment plans, you have to make payments, you know, and it's really, that's how tight the money is right now. Um, so yeah, so there will be less subscription boxes in the future. There's going to be, I'm going to be filming this week, the subscription boxes that I do have right now. And of course you saw the most, you know, recent meow box, but that's the long, last meow box for a while. Poor kitties. I feel bad. I suppose they won't really know. They have tons of toys. If you look at any of our Instagram stories or anything, there's always toys on the floor and stuff, and they have plenty. And yet, how often do they play with those toys? They're usually busy knocking over everything else. Tonight was definitely one of those nights where they were just... I had left a pallet up on my vanity and found on the floor and was like, oh my god, because I thought... <laughs> they didn't... Nothing was broken. Everything was fine. Thank goodness. So anyway, I'm going to take this mask off and then come back. And I hope you were okay with just listening to me chat today. That's how these Mask Monday things are. They're pretty much me just being really chatty and talking away. Sometimes telling like a story, but for the most part, just chatting away at ya. So, see you in a minute. Well, second, really. So, here I am, back. And... I think I like that mask. My face feels really clean. Um, it's a little reddish, but that's because I scrubbed the mask off. And now I'm just gonna take, I find it, a little witch hazel. I don't have much left. But, and just sort of go over. See, there's a spot there. Of course, this cotton pad thing is like coming apart because they're cheap. And you can see I have the psoriasis right here too. It's all like in my ears. But I usually just hide it all with makeup. But I'm not afraid to show you guys what I look like with all the makeup you can see here too. Rises. I think that took care of that. Man, my bra straps just won't stay up today. I have to look into that later. So, yeah. So there's an update of my life about everything that's going on. Um, and, you know, that's life. Please let me know what's going on in your lives. Like, let me know down below. Um, I know a lot of people have been sick lately. I know a lot of people have been going through some financial difficulties as well for different reasons. Um, sometimes because of health issues. Sometimes, uh, you know, because of not having enough work, etc. etc. But yeah, let me know. How is life treating you? And, you know, I'm just going to let you know. It's okay. It is okay to talk about the bad things as well as the good things. I have a lot of good things in my life too. I have great, fantastic friends that love and support me and help me out as much as they can. I have love in my life and my, you know, with my man and my daughter and I have a really good relationship. And so, yeah. And if you guys go back and look at a lot of my videos, you'll see that my daughter is in some of my videos. Um, we enjoy doing stuff like that together and I'm actually hoping to get her to do a little filming with me this week. At least one little film. So, because we've had, we've had something sitting around for like a month. <laughs> I bought it last month. Like, and it's still sitting there. Thank goodness, like, junk food lasts forever. It's, as long as you don't open it. Um, so, yeah, we'll be doing a little junk food taste. But just a little one. It's just one item. Instead of, like, usually I do, like, three, four, five different things. But this time we just have the one item. So we'll probably be taste testing that. So it'll be a little quick. 
junk food tasting situation. So yeah, I did like this. I feel like my skin is definitely clean and tighter. So, and it said, you know, purifies pores, detoxifies, brightens skin, soothes skin. It does like everything and exfoliates. I do feel like it exfoliated. It definitely feels like this exfoliated. So that's great. So, yeah. So don't forget to share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and all that jazz. And, you know, if you want to find me on Twitter and all that stuff, that is in the description box down below. I love you, kitty cats.